What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video, we're going to be talking about track versions inside of Cubase. If you don't like having a lot of tracks in your projects, then this is a perfect way to organize your files using these track versions. So let's get right to it. All right, so let's get into the video. We're gonna talk about the different track versions that you can create. So what this means is you can have one track and then have different versions of the same track. That way you don't have to populate. Let's say you don't have to have three duplicates of this track, so you have three different versions. So let's go ahead and check out this chord progression I have here, and then we'll go ahead and jump into the track versions. Okay, so that was my first chord progression. Let's assume I'm happy with that. I love the way it sounds. I have all the plugins I want on this channel. And I just want to create a new version. So instead of going here and duplicating the track and having another instance of contact running the Cine samples, I can go ahead and create what we call track versions. So if you go in this drop menu, um, this down arrow here, I'm clicking on the name. And it has to be on the drop down arrow. It can be on the name. You, have, you can click on the new version or you can hit the, the hot keys, you know, shift command N and you can create a new version. I already have three here. So the first one, you can actually rename these if you want. So I called this main chords and then I made a version two. And notice how when I hit version two, the entire MIDI data changed here. Now this is a different chord progression. Let's go ahead and listen to what I have here. All right, so that is the second version. And again, I only have one instance of contact running Cine strings, and I'm able to do all these different versions of it without having to duplicate this. This can save you not only time, but it can save you computer resources, CPU and processing power. That way you can have more in the mixing stage. So I have ID number three, so version three, and I left it blank on purpose so you can see that this is a clean slate. And every time you create a new version, you can have a clean slate as well. You can also delete versions and then you can select tracks with the same version ID. So that's pretty cool, a super neat way to not only save computer resources, but if you genuinely like the patch, you could just create different versions. So let's say you have like 10 orchestral instrument tracks here. Instead of duplicating all 10 tracks and having 20, you could just do this track versions um, and you can have as many versions of whatever arrangement you're working on. So this was a short video. If you have any questions, drop your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the ring button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to check out the John Moon Studio store. There's a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studio logos on it. So you can go ahead and check that out. I'll also drop a link down below to my Patreon for just a dollar a month. You can help support this channel and I greatly appreciate that. As always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I will see you guys soon.